Good morning. I think y'all forgot something about black people that y'all uh, created, a molded shape, you know, instituted. I don't, I've been on this earth for 47 years. Nothing in my life has any value. Because white people don't allow black people to have any value. It's called a living death. We're not allowed to have it. Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, they don't possess, own, and can touch anything on this earth that is of any value to them in their lives. Black people are not allowed to have anything of value. So understand what I'm saying. If nothing in my life, in my world, on this earth that I can touch has any value, meaning, significant, significance, in my life, ever is going to be, what does that mean? And shit that I see that don't, that don't belong to me has no value. It has the same value that with my eyesight, as it has the shit that I can see and touch. It has no value. See, that's what happens when white people oppress black people. The, the, the Jane Elliott, go back when she, when she was doing them little kids in the school, and the little white boy said, black people don't get nothing. And from then to this day and before then, all that shit, we don't have anything on this earth of value. Our children, you showed us, they are of no value. It was a waste of time and pain, childbirth pain, to have given birth to all these black people like me. So, understand, I have nothing of value. That means everything you got, your, you see what, uh, um, you see how black people can't, don't have no uh, city, no town, even Africa, a whole fucking continent to call our own, to live a life in? That's what our tomorrow is going to be. Our, yester, our, our, our next, next, next thousand years is going to be around white people. See, had you white people been fair and tried to be fair and adequate and equal and loving, kind, sensitive, sympathetic, people with souls, hearts, you know, all that shit, brain, had y'all been them type of creatures on earth, I wouldn't have been in a position to be hit in my back by a stranger. See, y'all should have had like God made it. Y'all should have had your own little city. We just should have been able to have to drive 500 miles to see another color. But since y'all wants to, you know, run it, run it. Let me say this. Nothing in my life, nothing on this earth that I'm going to see, has ever seen, has any value. That means... All the evil walking around putting their hands on me, I can be evil too. I got the right to do all those things too. I've been trying not to be that way, you know. What, what the Bible say? He maketh me lay down in green pastures. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. He is my rod, my comforter, my strength. I just want to explain to you. I don't have nothing that can't possess nothing, can't even think of nothing that has value and significance. It's going to be of value and significance. You don't have nothing in my eyesight that is of any value and is of any significance either. Let's try and remember that. Let's try and go on and be civilized. Let's try and go on and... uh. You know, um, extend a helping hand, you know. Be, the, what they call it, the salt of the earth. Now, y'all white people done took the salt of the earth and drained all the vitamins, nutrients, and out of it and just giving it to folk. Y'all ain't even the salt of the earth. Shit, you ain't even the shit you turn into out of the salt of the earth. So let's try to be of some, um, of some substance on this earth. There's nothing else. Let's try to be the salt of the earth. I think we can work on that. I think that's not asking uh, people with the different color skin than I got. I don't think that's an impossibility. 
I don't think that's an infringement on them in any way. So it's not like I've been hitting on my back by a stranger. Bitch, I believe it was a man. Now, some tell me it was a man. Or oh, that bitch has a, I, I know she had something in her hand. And the camera's going to show the bitch standing there at the, at the counter fumbling with something in her hand. Yeah. Uh-huh. He made good shit, don't he? Mm-hmm. But let's reiterate. Nothing on this earth, not even the air I breathe, has any value. Has ever had any value? Is going to have some value? Mm -mm. Because I'm black. I don't waste my time thinking the thoughts and putting value in the shit. Uh uh. I've been around white people for 47 years. Hiding, hiding the Ku Klux Klan. See, white people done the, the fucked up. You, I can't even say. I've been thinking, you know, maybe uh, the Ku Klux Klan and hijack white skin. Mm mm. Mm mm. No. Y'all yeah, participating in that. So, let me just put it out there and see it and hope it has some value to somebody because it don't have no, nothing in my world has value. It's never going to have value. Please keep your hands off me. I'd hate to attempt to monopolize a piece of evil, crime, corruption, underhanded, backstabbing shit. I hate to, to, to try to attempt to monopolize. You know, you don't do anything in the world and say if you're going to do anything, you're going to be the street sweeper, be the best street sweeper on earth. I don't intend to attempt to practice evil and not be successful at it. And I'm just not starting. If I'm going to start, I got reason to start. But I'm still thinking and considering, you know, you just don't go off half cock. Doing shit. Or do you? And not think about the consequences and repercussions like the bitch did me in the post office. Everybody acting in concert don't know nothing. So, please. I'm not going to use this please word no more. I'm through being nice and having manners. See, now my job, my full-time job is watching suspects. Silent suspects and potential suspects, people that has the color to be a suspect. See, See what y'all doing? Find you somebody else to fuck with, like Al Qaeda, ISIS, and the Taliban. Leave me alone. You know, the devil on deck is uh, some shit. That come out black law book. You know, like the doctors say, uh, ooh, I got to read a whole room full of books that I got can't even get in. I got to lose 200000 to get in the room, but I only way out it about. Read it and you'll remember it. When you need it and you'll remember it. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. Do your job and get this motherfucker off for the streets. Let me press charges. I already asked the court to let me uh, throw a couple punches or throw my punch like they threw. I, and I got to see the tape. See. I got to see the tape. But, uh. What well, about y'all business? Continue to ignore me. See, I, I have no rights, no life, no, you know, it's a living death. No joys and no satisfaction. That's all I'm accustomed to. That's all I expect and expect. You've done a very good job. Now. Go on.